Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Stargazing is a lot of fun for those who are curious about celestial objects like galaxies, star clusters, and nebula. Picking the best telescope for deep space objects can be overwhelming. Unlike some deep sky objects, galaxies can be challenging to see. Their light is spread out and often their details are faint. Galaxies are so far away that, except for a few, they appear small and faint. So when it comes to deep sky observation telescopes, aperture wins. The bigger aperture you have, the more light you can collect. When you collect more light, you can see faint and distant objects. So you might ask, why not just buy the biggest telescope I can afford? The answer might surprise you. Several other important aspects play important roles, choosing a telescope for looking at those faint light sources. When you are buying a telescope for studying deep space objects, you'll be using a big aperture telescope. For a big aperture telescope, a stable mount is the most essential thing. A telescope's mount is one of the most critical factors in the usability of the telescope. You can use any kind of mount, but your mount needs to offer rigid stability. The last thing you want when viewing a tiny light source of a galaxy is vibrations coming from a flimsy mount. Considering all these factors, we made a list of quality telescopes with which you can observe galaxies. Our first telescope is Orion SkyQuest XT6. This telescope is the budget option for deep space objects. According to its ease of use, quality, and most importantly, price, it is a good option for people who are familiar with stargazing and not want to embark on the journey of observing deep space objects. Its six inch primary mirror allows you to view brighter deep space objects with details such as Andromeda Galaxy and star clusters like the Pilates. The telescope is bulky and four feet long, so you shouldn't be moving it very often. Despite being bigger and longer, the telescope is very easy to set up as it comes in two detachable parts, telescope and base that are connected by the integrated springs. Even with limited experience, it only takes around 30 minutes to fully assemble. It has a Dobsonian mount, which is ultra stable and keeps a reflector optical tube in place and balanced for better viewing of distant celestial objects. It has a focal length of 1200 millimeters and an aperture of 1150 millimeters, which gives us a focal ratio of eight. As mentioned earlier, it is a budget option telescope, so there is no go-to tracking installed, and you have to follow the objects manually. This telescope uses Easy Red Dot Finder. The Easy Red Dot Finder makes pointing your telescope almost as easy as pointing your finger. But Easy Red Dot Finding is not as useful in finding deep space objects. That's why you'll probably need to buy a magnifying finder scope. The telescope comes with a 25mm Plossel eyepiece, which gives a magnification of 48x, but that's its final limit. You'll probably need to buy a couple more eyepieces to get more viewing options. Pros of this telescope. It has a 6-inch mirror, which is good for brighter deep space objects. It is very easy to set up and has a very stable mount. It's pocket-friendly, so you'll not burn the bank. Cons of this telescope? It comes with only one 25mm eyepiece as it is a beginner telescope for deep space sky gazers, so you may find its size is one of the cons. Overall, this is a good telescope for people who are on a very tight budget. You can get maximum out of this telescope if you upgrade with the accessories. Our second telescope is Celestron Nexstar 8SE. This is one of the most popular telescopes for deep space objects. The Nexstar 8SE is a motor-driven compound telescope with an 8-inch aperture. Its design allows it to capture fine details from galaxies and other deep space objects in the night sky. The telescope's single fork arm construction makes it easy to assemble and take down. It weighs only 16 pounds, so it's no trouble to transport it to your favorite location. Its sky aligned features make it easy to set up using any three bright celestial objects in the sky. This telescope comes with a database of 40,000 celestial objects. Once you're ready after the setup, you can just select the name of the object from the database, the computerized motor will slide and track the object so it never goes out of the eyepiece. The telescope also has a red dot finder technology to focus on celestial objects. This one also comes with a single 25mm eyepiece, which gives 85 times magnification. You'll need an extra set of eyepieces to get the most out of this one. This telescope has a focal length of 2032mm and an aperture of 203mm, which gives us a focal ratio of 10. This telescope has a computerized alt azimuth mount, the primary 8-inch primary mirror in the Celestron is a decent size for seeing many deep space objects. Its limiting stellar magnitude is 14, so you will see a lot of galaxies and nebula with this telescope. Pros of this telescope. It is easy to use, easy to move, and has a large database of celestial objects. Cons of this telescope. It has a short battery life, so you'll need an extra battery. It comes with only one eyepiece. Overall, this is one of the best options for astronomers who want the best telescope for its performance. Our third telescope is Orion XT-10G. 
This telescope has a huge aperture. The Orion SkyQuest XT-10G is a rare thing in the world of telescopes. It is a fully motorized go-to Dobsonian reflector telescope. It is able to locate, center, and automatically track over 42,000 celestial objects with the push of a button. Its huge 10-inch aperture mirror collects more than enough light for crystal clear views of star clusters, galaxies, and nebulas, as well as closer objects such as the moon or even other planets. Its focal ratio is 4.7 and a focal length of 1200 millimeters, which is perfect for achieving wide field views of galaxies. Its limiting stellar magnitude is 14.7. Coupled with that big 10-inch mirror, the telescope is a great choice for fainter deep sky objects. It comes with a 28 millimeter deep view and a 12.5 millimeter illuminated plossel, providing 43 times and 96 times magnification. Since this telescope is motorized, you'll need a 12V DC power supply, which is something to keep in mind. However, there's no power source available. It still operates as a regular telescope. This telescope is very heavy. The tube alone weighs 30 pounds. The base adds another 40 pounds. Pros of this telescope. It has a big mirror. It is easy to set up. Fully computerized tracking. Cons for this telescope? It is very heavy, so you cannot move it very often. It is a little expensive. Overall, if you have the funds and love of galaxy hunting, this is the telescope you need. Our fourth telescope is Celestron CPC Deluxe 1100. This telescope is perfect for deep space stargazing. If you have the budget, this is the perfect combination of aperture, size, and usability for hunting nebula and galaxies. The Deluxe 1100 has a bigger aperture than the XT-10G above, but its major benefit is the 24-inch tube with more than double the focal length. That's why you should expect to pay more than $3,000 for this scope, making it one of the most expensive telescopes for deep sky astronomy. The large mirror comes with premium coatings to improve image quality, so you should also expect to see more details in brighter nebula and galaxies, like Andromeda Galaxy, Orion Nebula, than you ever have before. This telescope is less bulky, but it's not lightweight. It weighs 84 pounds. Not physically possible to move this around in a single piece. It has to be done in section with the helper. Its database has over 40,000 celestial objects stored in it. This is the telescope, which gives clear views of all of them. Pros of this telescope. Huge mirror in a compact body of the telescope. It's very simple to set up. Tracing objects with this telescope is very easy. Cons of this telescope. The price. It's a very expensive telescope. Overall, if you're looking for top-notch experience in deep space stargazing and budget is not an issue for you, then this telescope is for you. So there are some of the telescopes best for viewing galaxies. I hope this video helped you to make a better buying decision. If it did, then please give the thumbs up to this video. Subscribe to our channel for more technology-related content. See you in the next video. Have a nice day, guys. Peace.